Hello, I am Aditya Satish. Um, currently, I'm in ninth grade and I've been playing the violin for around 10 years. So, it's a weird story about how I got into violin. Uh, when I was young, around three or four years old, I used to watch this show called Little Einsteins, which is about like kids going on like some musical adventure. And then there's one episode with the violin, and I always wanted to see how a violin worked. And then my parents thought it was a good idea to put me into violin class, and I have to admit it kind of was, since I actually like it a lot and I'm progressing in it. That's how I got into it. Now, here is your standard, a romantic style violin. Let's first look at the violin part. This part is called the um, chin rest. It's like this. And then you have the bridge. The bridge, um, it's actually not connected by any glue or screws but strictly by the tension of the four strings against it. So this just uh, raises the four strings. Then we have the fingerboard, which is this giant black part, which like you can, you know, play your notes on. And then up here, this part is called the scroll, like the, it looks kind of like a scroll. Then this is where all the um, pegs, the four pegs, um, and the strings connect, and you can turn these pegs to tune the strings. Now let's go on to the strings. So, the lowest string we have is G. Then after G is the second lowest, D. Then the third lowest, which is um, A. And then the highest, which is E. So it's G, A, E. So yeah, those are the four strings. Oh, I, know I also forgot to mention the F holes these like slit things and that basically just allows the sound be projected and then so this is just one part of the actual violin then the next part we have is the bow the bow is the part which you use to um, play across the violin as you can see here like that and it's connected via horsehair and there's one other very important part about this. It's called rosin. Let me just open it. It's basically like tree sap and you just apply it to the horser so that like the horser won't just like slide all over the place and it'll actually stick to the strings. And then this part is called the frog, the black part. And then this part is called the tip. And then over here, this little metal part can actually be used to tighten and loosen the bow. Here's a quick demonstration of how each string sounds. The G, D, A, then E. Now, here's some tips and tricks. So the first one is always tighten um, your bow so that like, it's like pinky, like width at the middle, because you don't want it too tight or too loose. That's just a very important thing. Then a good tip, you should always keep your um, violin parallel to the ground. You shouldn't keep it too low or too high. You should keep it parallel. And then when you're using the bow, the bow should be perpendicular to the violin strings. It shouldn't be like this, it shouldn't be like that. It should be perfectly like perpendicular to the violin strings. So there's one other thing, it's just a shoulder rest. You just keep it right here and it just makes it more comfortable. Another quick demonstration would be... Yeah, that's about it actually. So, hope you enjoyed this video. 